Let's check out my last collectible, the Squire Skull and Bones MB4. It's definitely collectible. It's a gold label. Usually means they're nicer. This one, hmm. I'd say the neck is a little wobbly to say that this is a really nice. So don't always go by the gold label or silver label, especially since those black label ones are all pretty much my best ones back there. Um, it does help for the collectability sometimes. People like the gold labels for collectability. But what makes this collectible is the 22 frets. Most of the time, you don't get those extra frets. These are really reachable. This one has less frets and you can't even reach them. You could see me playing some air harmonic thing down here on one of my solos. It's because I'm used to playing this guitar and having 22 frets helps you play the last position of the minor pentatonic. It helps you just have more notes. So it's hard to go back once you have it and then you take it away. You're like, oh, I don't need that. You'll be playing in the air. Um, pickups are kind of weird on this one. I was going to change it out, but if you really look at it, they're in the wrong direction. Look at this top one's to the left and this top one's to the right. So if I took a real P bass pickup, it wouldn't fit in there. I'm thinking this is the correct one. Anyways, uh, the bridge isn't anything special. It's the same one they always use. Same one. And it's the 22 frets, dude. They just don't give you that. They won't give it to you on virtually any model. You have to get a made in Japan one from 93 to 98 or 96 or a Fender Aerodyne base and that's going to cost you over a thousand dollars so this is your option for a 22 fret base and it's really playable it's nice I love this guitar the neck is made out of like several pieces you can see and that's usually a sign of a higher end instrument it's so that they could create a neck angle and it doesn't need to use uh, hardware to hold the strings at the correct angle. This thing was designed by Frank Bellow and it's really a masterpiece. You could find them for like 120, 140, 150. I would pay it all day long. Like I thought about getting another one. They just play really nice. Having more notes. Uh, I don't know how you would change the pickups if it goes in the wrong direction there. You could change out the jazz pickup. It doesn't sound bad. I got used to the P-Bass pickup and I stopped playing the jazz pickup, actually. I was kind of like more rash when I first played it. And I was like, ah, oh, the P-Bass pickup doesn't sound that great. I mean, this, this guitar does play better, like it sounds better, but it has an active pickup on it. So it's not, it's not the same. It's apples to oranges on that.